We are approaching the 150th anniversary of the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln, who spent his early years living in Indiana. On April 14, 1865, he was shot by John Wilkes Booth and died the next day. Now, WSBT 22's Ed Ernst just takes us to an Elkhart Museum, which chronicles those events in a unique exhibit. Well. The exhibit at the Midwest Museum of American Art looks at the people, places, and events leading up to and after the assassination of President Lincoln. It is intertwined with displays and pictures about the Civil War that started in 1861 and ended on April 9, 1865 that Lincoln dealt with while president. Lincoln died just a few days after the Civil War ended. I think it's still... Uh, it's on people's minds in this day and age that we live. It's still history, but yet it's something that goes beyond that and touches us, I think, a little deeper as a nation. The exhibit ties in with the local area during Civil War times. Through the images and artifacts that we've gathered together for this spotlight exhibit, we try to cast a light on sort of a local feeling. The Elkhart area has a rich history of those who took part in the war between the states years ago. One of those is a descendant of a soldier who fought for the North who brought a contribution to the museum for the exhibit. Susan Lehman brought in a tintype of this man who spent time in a Confederate prison but survived the war. Well, this is my great-great-grandfather, William Nolan Culbertson, and he was with the Indiana 30th Regiment, Company K, and he was captured at Shiloh and imprisoned in Libby Prison in Richmond, Virginia. The exhibit overall shows the mood of the country back then. But I think it helps us reflect on the American character. At Ernstus, WSBT 22 News. Now the exhibit will remain open until Thursday afternoon as a part of a local observance of Lincoln's death. Bells will ring in downtown South Bend on Wednesday morning at the time President Lincoln died. So